Hello and welcome to All Things Auto, and welcome specifically to the All Things Auto studio, sort yes. of. Yes. We are two metres apart. Um, um, about one metre. And this is yeah. Matthew's new summer house, and we're making use of it, and this is now with our yes. fantastic acoustics. This is my shed. One of our little studios. Um, yeah. Which is, it's quite nice, actually. It's very quiet in here. Just before we started recording, there's a spider crawling over. Oh my god, I don't, we don't mention it. No, we don't, we don't talk about it. Um, we did consider setting this thing alight, because that's what you do when you find a spider. Um, Instead, I got your plastic bag. My plastic bag. And killed it. Squished the spider and put it in the grey bin, because that's what you do. That's the British way. Anyway, in this video, we're just going to be doing some car conversation, just about really random things. So if you're not interested, then stay watching, because you're Think a, of it as an All Things Auto podcast, but not professional. And in video form, MP4. Talking about podcasts, you can listen to my podcast. A little plug there. The Piston Podcast is available everywhere, on every pod place. I especially like episode 5, which you can actually check on the channel. Yes, you can. The video form, yeah, yeah. Um, that's my motoring podcast, um, and it's it's exciting. Matthew's on episode 5, so listen to that one if you yes. like watching us two. Um, so, yeah, plugging over, let's just get on with some random car conversation. What are going to talk about? Yes, that's well, one thing I want to talk to you... But the Ford Focus RS. Okay. As we know, our world is in many, many states. Yes. Polar bears are falling over. Polar bears Bees are, falling over. are dying, or they claim to be. Yeah, and a spider in your shed. And spiders in my shed, which yes. I've killed. What we need to do, well, what the government has said, they want car manufacturers to have a target of 95 grams per quarter of CO2. Yeah. Which is, you know, fairly alright, but it is quite hard to get a car down. So, how many grams? How many grams? 95 grams. That means my panda isn't allowed on the road. No, 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 it means, no, our cars, they're allowed on the road, but all cars that are made, that that's what I meant to clarify. Oh, so, all cool. new cars that ever come out will have to be. Yeah. Or, well, those specific cars won't have to average it, but the manufacturer. The problem with that is, car companies are lazy, and not all of them want to make electric cars. So we're going to see a rise in hybrids, even though new hybrids are defeating the object. There and are loads be... of hybrids out now. All BMWs now, most of them are hybrids, aren't they? I know. But the problem is, new hybrids and petrol and diesel cars won't be able to solve from 2035. So, I don't like hybrids. For that. I, don't, I don't like hybrids, because it's going half of the way, and that's not helping. You may as well just go full electric. I'm quite weird, because I like combustion engine cars just as much as EVs. I really like them. A few years ago, I didn't like electric cars at all. I thought, no. Mm. But I've actually really grown to them, especially the little Honda E. Um, the Honda E is such a good car. I, I just, I love it. My Twitter yesterday was just filled with, 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 with Honda E's, and it's just, it just makes your day brighter, doesn't it, really? <laughs> it's, it's that car that's probably not very practical um, compared to its competitors, but Are it's just a Are you going to compare to a Fiat Panda? No, I'll compare it to a Mini E, Mini Electric. If you put a Mini E next to a Honda E, everything's E, isn't it? That's the problem. Mm. Um, then the Mini will turn out to be the better car on paper, but you'd still have the Honda. I know I would. Just because I love it, the Honda. it's interesting, and no doubt it's going to be a future classic. It's going to be one of the first classic electric cars, I reckon. Yeah. It's just amazing. It's really, really good. And if you think it's got 137 mile range, and you may think that's not good enough, but a fast charge takes 30 minutes. I know my family will go away, don't do 137 miles or whatever it is mm. in one go. Mm. You do a bit and you charge it for 15 minutes or so. Yeah. And then you go again, charge for 15 minutes or so, and then it will work. You can go abroad easily with an electric car yeah. now. And it's only going to get better. So, there we go. What I was going on about with the Ford, they yeah, had yeah. to um, get rid of one of their cars, so the, the big CO2 emissions. Is either going to be the Mustang or a Ford Focus RS, and what do you think they're going to choose? They're not going to get rid of the Mustang, they just no. can't. Some people have been suggesting that, you know, the Mustang Mach E, which I actually quite like, to be fair. Yeah. I like the design of it, but they shouldn't. They shouldn't have called it a Mustang. It really angered a lot of people. Yeah. I've yeah. grown to like it, though. Yeah, you hated it at first. Yeah, no. I, every, Amer every American car fanboy did. Yeah. And they had to get rid of it. So some people are suggesting, yeah, the electric out of the, um, what, no, sorry, the electric batteries from the 
a Mustang Mach E or a hybrid system, or or maybe borrow an engine. What for the Focus? Hybrid. Yeah, for for if they make Ford Focus RS. Yeah. I know Ford have said they're not planning on to, but lots of people are making suggestions. Yeah, it might happen. It might not. What's happening with the ST? ST that's still going to be made because that is, I imagine, it's going to be made with still the same three cylinder, but with more power, and I think it'll be hybrid. I, I really like three cylinders. I don't know why, they're just interesting. And they're odd as well, they're odd. My only issue with three cylinders is that they're a bit rough. They are rough, you do have to rev them a lot. Yeah. Well. But I, I really like them, they make a nice noise. Um, What's that Toyota Grumina? Grumina. What's that got, like 350 horsepower or 250 horsepower? It's got a lot of horsepower and it's a three cylinder 1.6 turbocharged engine mm. and it's the most powerful 1.6 no most powerful three cylinder engine ever created and if i was to think which car company would be able to do that you just think well, something japanese mm. and they've done a great job i really like it what i don't get is hummer they made a six point something like seven five va diesel with two just 200 horsepower from a huge engine then you got Toyota with an engine less than half the size, making nearly double the power. I know. Well, the Japanese have always been good at getting optimum power. American cars, they can't get much out of the engine. Same, saying that though, the Dodge Demon. Yeah. That and that is a huge. Uh, it's proper it muscle car, that isn't it? Yeah, it's it's mad. It's bonkers. But just going back to the Japanese being good at getting power, we compare it to our little Toyota Yaris. It'll be up for sale by the way soon. Um, it's a one litre non-turbo engine, four cylinder, and it's it's it, it's it's not fast. It's got around, I think, seventy horsepower or something. But wow! For a one litre non-turbo engine, it's actually not that bad, to be honest. Sounds pretty good, to be fair. And it sounds all right. Obviously, not as good as any other car, really, but it sounds all right. It's not a BMW M8 or anything. No, the Japanese have always been quite good at getting their cars really quite. Pristine, yeah. Um, in yeah, it's just they've just they've just been good at it, haven't they? It's just yeah, really good. Is that, is that your clock ticking? Or is that your timer? I don't know. I don't even. Does it work? I don't know. What time is it? It's six a.m. Ten past six. Is it? Oh, it's too early. We're filming this after we filmed the vlog, which was the last video on the. That's channel. why we look terrible. That's why we look um, really quite tired. Um, so yeah, it's ten past six, and we're in a shed talking about three cylinders. Um, wow, <laughs> it's interesting. What isn't happened? It? I know it's, it's riveting content. And if you haven't subscribed already, then do it. Otherwise, police will come to your house and do it, or room. I'll go to your house and subscribe. Uh, yeah, subscribe for you. You yeah. don't want Matthew going to your house. You really don't. I know that from experience. I look out my bedroom window, and there he is. Um, yeah, because so, I always have to go to your house. Yeah. Just subscribe. Like top Gear magazines. Or subscribe something. for your own benefit, or else he'll be at your house. Or he'll talk to you about Fiat Pandas. Or I'll talk about Fiat Pandas. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a good point. Uh, follow us on Twitter, by the way. I'm Daniel Carzo Five, and he's Matthew LR Two, because he's uh, the second best Matthew LR. Um, I don't. I don't know. Matthew LR was taken. <laughs> yeah. There's another person in this world called Daniel Actorhouse, and it confuses me. Because I didn't know he existed. Well, it's your. But it turns out, it turns out he's my brother or he's one of my brother. No cousin. That's it turns it. out. It turns out he's one of my cousins or second cousins. It's just weird. Um, this is why I should sub subscribe for more riveting content. And I'm pretty furious because he took the Instagram name Daniel Actorhouse. Mm -hmm. So, for my other little private Instagram, I have underscore Daniel Actorhouse underscore. It's like ah, oh. he doesn't even use Instagram either. It's just annoying. Sorry about this. Talking problem. about the main issues in the world. I know, this is not really car talk, is it? Um, let's just talk about bikes, um, because it is all things auto. What is your opinion on e bikes, electric bikes, power assisted bikes? What's the point? They've just taken. I, I like them, I'd like to try one, but oh, yeah. it's taken the point away from cycling. If you're doing long distance miles and you don't want to go on. And you don't want to like use a car for some reason, or you don't want to waste loads of energy and going on your bike. Then I can see why. But I wouldn't see why why you wouldn't just get like a scooter. I can tell you actually. I was actually messaging Philip Schofield 
What joke? I was messaging Philip Schofield. All the people you could have messaged. <laughs> I and messaged. He messaged. messaged he, and he, he messaged. He Philip put on his uh, his story on social media. Um, <laughs> Other social media are available. Do you sound like a grandpa? He put on his social media um, a picture of his bike, and he was like, out on the bike, and it was an e-bike. And I said, oh, it's an e-bike, you're cheating. And he said, well, there's a massive hill, so he only uses it for that. And I can sort of understand the point. If you're, re- if you're just getting back into cycling to get fit or whatever the reason, then I can, I can see the, the reason behind it. I went to Holland in the new year, and I went inside a bike shop, and I spent about two hours looking around e-bikes. Hmm. And brand new, they're about one and a half thousand euros or something ridiculous like that. Um, and some of them can go up to thousands. It's really, really silly. Second hand, the cheapest one at the shop in Holland was about 600 euros, which is still a lot of money. 600 quid? Yeah, but th- these ones have got like traction control and ABS and... To be fair, that is hydraulic what my, that's how much my Mac costs. I know, yeah. when it was new. They are good value and they are amazing, but for somebody like me and you, there's just no need. No. Where we live is relatively flat as well. I know. But Holland is flat. Holland is flat. It's the flattest country in the world. But, I don't know, because cycling in Holland is just, it's one of the main modes of transport, isn't it? And not everybody actually wants to pedal. Um, The law is in England, is that you have to pedal along the motor. You can't use the motor only. Why? Because it's just safer. Otherwise, it's classed as a vehicle. You need insurance and tax and stuff like that. In America, you're allowed to just use the motor and not pedal. Well, that's America, isn't America, it? America, I know. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I don't see... Again, I'd like to try one. I went camping a few years ago, and this guy said, hello, we're having a conversation about bikes. It's and he asked... 12. Not 12, sorry, 6. <laughs> but this guy said, oh, do you want to go and, do you want to have a go on my e-bike? I've got one. And you know what? I said no. Why? I'd like... I'd I don't know, I was about eight at the time. I didn't... Oh, answer. yeah, fair enough. I wasn't going to leave my bike. I wished I said yes, because I've never ever been on a new bike. And I was trying to get all chatty with this Dutch man using my dad as a translator to try and get a ride on this e-bike. Didn't work out. Um, but if you have an e-bike that me and Matt can test out on the channel for a little yes. review, then do get in contact. Yeah, that would be... That would be great. That would be actually... Send us a tweet or something, and uh, we can sort it out if you're local. I do quite chatting. like e bike I don't mind the idea of them, but it's just taking... Cycling away. You know, cycling was made to get, you know, fitter as a mode of transport. But if you're cycling and you don't need to get any fitter, but you're cycling because you like it, then, yeah, it, I suppose. I can't see the point. What an e-bike go. now. Yeah, they're cool. I did once consider getting an e-bike the new year, after I went to the bike shop, of course. And I was thinking, yeah, well, I wouldn't mind one of them. But this, this was at the time when I, I wanted a new bike around December time. Is this, before you've had, this is before you went over to the It's before track. I got the Trek. And I was like, I want a racing bike. Went to Holland, decided I wanted a Dutch bike. And then I said I wanted an e-bike. And then I said, I'm being a bit silly. Because I got my Carrera for my main bike. Mm. So then I got, I got the Trek in, at the end of January. Which I, I haven't actually put... I, we haven't actually talked about my Trek much on the channel. It's only been in like one video, to be honest, properly. Well, yeah, really, because... I will do a video one day talking around it. Because it, it, it is... It deserves some of the content because I've really been on. You, so, let's just sum up 2020. Without talk about the coronavirus, just about us two. New bike. You got a new bike, a new, new car, car, new shoes, new shoes, and a bunch of other stuff. I got new shoes, new shed. You got a new shed. I know. You got, you, you got a new shed, and you got new handlebar tape coming Come soon. On. Yeah, handlebar tape. It's and red. The sportiness. You're a bar thuddy. talk about it basically <laughs> in march he ordered an abba jacket an hoodie, thing. hoodie jacket because i love the abba 500 i used to own one and then and this is why i hate truckers and then the trucker decided to reverse into my mum in it insurance was all paid for so like my mum won she got loads of money jackpot oh yeah no i mean what i mean by that is to like repair the car obviously yeah it was a horrible experience for her. And now we don't have an Abar 500, now we've just got a diesel Audi, which is a quad. So good. But it's not an Abar. We're always welcome to come in our panda. Sod your panda. I'm getting the Abar for thee. He's getting the Abar for thee. Um, oh, I, I, can give them, I can give them a brief history about your Abar for thee, because it's quite funny. You ordered it in March. Go run, go run, run. You ordered it in March, and it didn't arrive. It's upstairs. I've just... 
didn't arrive for weeks and weeks and weeks. Then he got an email saying it was like sent back to China. And I think it was because it's a counterfeit item, so it wasn't able to go, get through customs. Um, and he just, he was struggling. And then he ordered another one in the end. And after weeks and weeks and weeks, probably a month, over a month, it arrived a few days ago. And if I'm honest, well, he's not here, I'll say. He is a bit naff, but he likes it, so I won't burst his bubble uh, until he watches this back. He's putting it on. Fashion yeah. icon, Matthew Lovehouse. You know, I've got another one coming up. Because I got, yeah. technically... The one that he cancelled is still on the way, actually. This is his Abarth hoodie. Yeah, there's Abarth there, and then there's a badge, and then a badge Just on the back. Well. Just well. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice angle. I'm sorry if I'm going to get your one. If I'm going to get my there. one. Yeah, I don't need that. You won't be able to see that one, because where the camera is. It's really quite nice. Technically, I got this for free. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I, I paid for it, then I got a refund, and then it arrived. Yeah. And then I have another one coming because I refunded this one. Yeah. So we'll go. Anyway, I've just looked at the time. We've been rambling on for about 16 minutes. So, I think we'll stop it there. If you want to see more of these little chit-chat things in the new studio. Yes. Chat um, lane. Yes, in the All Things Auto Shed. Then um, do subscribe and let us know in the comments yes. what you'd like to see in the channel, we will do it. Uh, I think we're just about to carry on filming the vlog that we did before and it's all complicated this YouTube with yes, the future and the very. past. Um, and yeah, it's thank very you. tiring because we got it's up at tiring. three in the morning. Three in the morning. I know. I've been awake for over three hours. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to go to bed. Right, night, night go boys. To bed. Thank you for watching All Things Auto. Ugh. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ha ha ha!